Hi folks, how are you today? Al from Fender. I'm standing here in the Hollywood office where we develop all our new guitars and basses. Um, I just wanted to show you what it would be like if you bought your first Fender this year. Unbox it, show you what comes with a guitar, plug in, tune up, and give you some pointers. Okay, great. So let's say you just bought your first guitar. This is what the box looks like that comes from the factory. Um, the guitar we have here today is a Fender Standard Stratocaster. This is the kind of box you get when you get a standard Stratocaster delivered to your home. Keep in mind that you may have just bought a Squire Stratocaster or an American Professional Stratocaster or some other Stratocaster from one of our lines. Um, I'm going to go through some basic anatomy of the guitar and that anatomy will apply in general to all those different guitars. Okay, so you've got your new standard Stratocaster and Sunburst, you've taken it out of the box, we've laid it down on the counter here so I can go through some basic anatomy for those of you that may not be familiar with the general anatomy of a guitar. Okay, so there's basically two main parts. There's a body and a neck, okay? If you want to start at the top here, this section that the tuning machines are connected to is called a headstock. Each of our guitars has a distinctive shape of a headstock for each guitar. So this is what a Stratocaster headstock looks like. On the headstock, we have six tuning machines. So the strings of the guitar are wrapped around the posts of each tuning machine. And as you tighten the tuning machine, it brings all the strings to pitch. As you go down the headstock, you'll see that the strings are all running over this little white piece right here called a nut that is typically made of bone or synthetic bone in this case. And it guides the strings into the tuning machines. Then we get into the general part of the neck. The front of the neck is called the fretboard. This is where all the frets are. These little silver pieces are called fret wire, and each one of those is called a fret. When you press down on a fret, this is how you fret a note to create sounds. As you go down the neck, you get to the body. The body is made up of a few different pieces. This piece right here is called a pick guard and the pickguard assembly holds all the controls and the pickups. So what are the pickups? The pickups are actually these three pieces right here, and this is what generates sound from your guitar to the amplifier. So on a Stratocaster, you have three single coil pickups, and they're controlled by this selector switch, so it allows you to choose different combinations of those pickups to create different types of sounds. Over here, you'll notice that there are a few controls. This is a master volume that controls the volume of whatever position switch you're on. And two tone controls controls the middle and neck pickup tone. Down at the bottom here, we have what we call a vintage synchronized tremolo bridge. That's where the strings are anchored at the body. And the tremolo actually allows you to do some really cool sound effects that I'll demonstrate in a little bit. And then off to the side here, this is called the output jack. And this is where you plug the guitar into the amp. Okay, so we flipped the guitar over so I can show you what the back of the guitar looks like and talk about all the parts. Um, again, let's start at the headstock. You'll notice here is what the tuning machines look like on the back of the headstock. The headstock is this piece right here. So below the headstock, we're getting into the meat of the neck here. The back of the neck um, has a unique shape for all the different series that we have. On the standard series, the standard Strat has a modern C neck shape. It's a very comfortable, slim C. Um, some of our other series have different neck shapes, so be sure to try different guitars to find a shape that suits you the best. But as you go down the neck here, you'll see that it connects to the body at the heel. And at the heel, the neck is actually connected using four screws and this plate and the plate is bolted right on there. Some of our guitars have a logo on the plate. This happens to be a blank plate. Some of our guitars have a serial number on the neck plate. Um, and then, then below that, you see the tremolo cover. The tremolo bridge that I referred to earlier has um, been mounted inside the guitar. If you remove this plate, you would see what that looked like. You can make some adjustments under that plate by removing these screws. It's very easy. Um, this slot here allows you to string the strings through the guitar because when you string your guitar, the strings actually go through from the back to the front and then on up to the tuner. And then finally at the bottom, you see that these are the strap buttons where you attach your straps. What I like to do with my cable, I like to feed it in between the strap and the guitar and then bring it to the front of the strat here. That's a little trick to keep the cable from getting in your way if you're on stage. If the cable is just plugged in like this, it's easy to kind of get in your way and if you step on it, you can actually accidentally drag it really hard and damage the input of the guitar. Then I'll turn the amp on, turn the volume on the guitar up, and there we're ready to go. 
so we're plugged in, we're ready to go. Um, first thing you want to do is get tuned up and get ready to play. One thing I will say as a piece of advice is when you get a brand new guitar, the strings are also brand new. And until the strings get a little stretched out, they may go out of tune pretty quickly. So what I like to do before I start playing is I like to stretch the strings out a little bit. To do that, it's really simple. All you have to do is go string by string and just pull on them a little. Pull them away from the body of the guitar. You're not pulling it really, really hard because you can break your strings if you put too much torque in there. And this just allows the strings to kind of get stretched out so they stay in tune better when you start playing. So I'm plugged in, I stretched out my strings, let's see if we're in tune. Sounds a little bit out of tune. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Fender Tuner app, which you can get by clicking on this icon right here, and I'll show you how to use the app. So I've got my phone with the Fender app up and I'm putting it in proximity to the amp so the phone can hear it. I'm going to pluck the B string. Yellow means it's a little out of tune. Again, it's flat. I have to tune it up by tightening the tuner. Okay. So the tremolo, basically what this does is it's an arm that connects to the bridge. There's springs in the back here that anchor the bridge to the body. And when you depress on the arm, it detunes the strings and gives you a very distinctive surfy kind of sound. sorts of different things to this. You can, you can press down hard or light, you can do it fast or slow, you can pull up on it. You'll notice that when you're using the trim sometimes the guitar can go out of tune so you might have to stretch the strings a little more, maybe put some uh, graphite or oil in your nut to keep the friction low in the nut. But the tremolo is a real fun thing to use. Let's start listening to some of the sounds you can get with all these different pickup configurations. The bridge pickup is when the switch is all the way down and you get this one bridge pickup on alone. Um, this is a great pickup to use for leads and it's a little bit more aggressive and very bright. <laughs> One thing that's really cool about the Strat is the controls are pretty sensitive, so as you adjust the volume, you can actually sometimes take some high end off, you can actually clean up a dirty sound. The next position is the middle and bridge pickup together. Um, this gives you some really interesting kind of warmer, quacky tones. The middle position is just the middle pickup. The next position would be the middle and neck pickup together. And then finally, uh, the neck pickup alone. Great, thanks everybody for watching this quick video of this brand new standard Stratocaster. Drop us a like if you enjoyed the video, and please subscribe if you want to learn about new and upcoming things with Fender.